As sports videographers, we always end up with tons of footage to go through after each game, which can turn the edit into a very long and boring process. But there's a very easy trick to speed up that process tremendously. During the game, each time you film a clip that feels worthy of a highlight reel, either point your camera directly at the ground or simply put your hand in front of the lens to then record a quick one second clip. That way, when you're looking at your clips in the edit, every time you see a black frame if you chose to use your hand or a patch of grass if you filmed the ground like I did in this case, you can automatically assume that the previous clip is a good one. That way you don't have to open every single clip if you don't want to, which will ultimately save you a huge amount of time. It's funny when you do do that marker though, and you have people like uh, in the stands watching you and they're looking at you like, what's this guy doing? And then you explain to them and they think you're the smartest guy ever. But when they're judging you when you're doing it, they're like, why is he putting his hand in front of his lens? And it's surprising that cameras these days don't have the ability to just push a button and add a marker yeah. to a clip. I don't know what goes into it, but it feels like it's it wouldn't be that complicated and a lot of people would love it. Well, guess what? After seeing that podcast episode, my contact at Sony Canada texted me to let me know that there is a way to add markers to a clip with a Sony camera. And frankly, I had no idea. So I was super excited to test it out and turns out she was right. So that's why in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly where to find this setting in the menu. I'm gonna show you how it works. And then I'm gonna tell you why you're probably never going to use it. All right, so the setting we're looking for is called a shot mark. And what we wanna do is basically assign it to a customizable button on the camera. To do that, we're gonna go to the yellow menu, select Operation Customize, then Custom Key, and then choose a button. On my FX3 and FX30 cameras, I like to use the button number one on top of the camera for this because it is conveniently positioned and honestly, I don't really use it for anything else anyway. Now, to assign the shot mark to our button, we go to the red menu, selection slash memo, add shot mark one, and voila. We can now add a marker to any clip while recording by simply pressing this button. But note that you can also add markers in playback mode after the fact if you forgot to press the button while recording, and you can also delete one if you made a mistake. I recently filmed a football game for the CFL and I used this opportunity to test the shot mark feature. I basically press the shot mark button every time I film someone scoring a touchdown. Later that night, when I browsed through my clips in Catalyst Browse, sure enough, I could see the markers on my touchdown clips. Which was helpful, but uh, not that much though. Because I still had to open the clips to see the markers. There's no way to know just by looking at the project or media window which clips have markers and which ones don't. So you still end up opening each clip one by one, which defeats the whole purpose and is not nearly as fast and convenient as my original way of creating fake markers by filming the ground or covering the lens with my hand. But that's beside the point, because the real reason why you will never use this feature is because the markers created in camera by pressing the shot mark button are only visible in Catalyst Browse. You can't see them in Premiere, DaVinci, or any other editing program that is not made by Sony. So bottom line, this feature is a great starting point, but it's nowhere near ready. It would be much better if the marked clips would be identified as such in the, the project or media window of any editing software. And the most frustrating part about it is that Sony already kind of does this, but in photo mode only with divider frames. To enable divider frame, press the menu button and navigate to the setup tab. The third option is Operation Customize. Select this and here select Custom Key Dial Set for Photo Mode. For this example, we'll remap the Rear to 5 option, as this is not set to any function. Select this, then navigate to the first camera tab, and option 8 is Selection Menu.
The last option here is Create Divider Frame. Select this. Now, the down button will add a divider frame. In playback, when looking at your photos and videos, a divider frame helps to visually break from the content that was taken earlier. Like I said before, unfortunately, this feature is only available in photo mode. So technically, if you wanted to use it during a game, every time you film a good clip, you would have to switch to photo mode, add a divider frame, and then switch back to video mode, which seems kind of, you know, more complicated than simply filming with your hand in front of the lens for a second or two. So anyway, I feel like it wouldn't be that much of a hassle, it wouldn't be that complicated to add this feature to video mode. But at the same time, I'm not an engineer. I have no idea what goes into doing that. So yeah, I'm going to let the pros do what they do. And meanwhile, to accelerate your editing process, I suggest you stick to my original way to identify good clips while filming. And hopefully someone at Sony will see this video as well. And who knows, maybe things will change in a future firmware update sooner rather than later.